Welcome to Tinkernut.com's video cast. Please submit any requests or comments to Tinkernut.com. In this video, I'm going to go over something that's been requested several times, and that's how to make uh, cool looking video introductions. So, just to jump right into it, the first thing that you're going to need is a, a pretty cool looking background loop or background image. And I get my background loops from hitthebongo.co.uk. And he offers uh, Windows video files um, that are just texture loops that can loop for as long as you want them to. Um, the only problem is that they are in Windows Media video uh, format, so if you want it in a more accepted format, you're going to have to use Media Coder to convert it. The next program I've covered before, it's called Wax 2.0, so that's what we're going to be using. So once you have Wax downloaded and open, just uh, uh, import a title image that you can create using any image creation software, and also import the uh, uh, background image that you downloaded from Hit the Bongo. So now just drag the title image down to the timeline and stretch it out for as long as you want to make it. And then just go to Video Plugins and download and uh, drag the Quick 3D plugin to the timeline. And now using that, you can adjust the position or you can adjust the uh, scale or the size of your title image. I'm actually going to shrink mine down to about 75%. And the next thing that you can drag to the timeline is the uh, Pixel Stretch plugin. And this just kind of stretches out the pixels to give it kind of a, a, a warped look. So I'm going to check the box that says both sides and under force, I'm going to change that to linear. And that's going to stretch it out across the entire screen. So now I'm going to drag the timeline out a little bit and I'm going to shrink the force down to about 50%. Then I'm going to drag the timeline out a little bit more and shrink it all the way down to zero until it looks normal. So this is what, what it's going to look like. Is It kind of uh, uh, goes from stretched out to normal. Now just drag your video background um, to the timeline. And since it's not really long enough, I'm dragging two, just kind of linking them together. And since a loop, since it's a loop, it's not it's going to be seamless. So uh, once you have that, go back to the video uh, plugins again and drag a quick 3D plugin to both of these. And what we're going to use the quick 3D plugin for here is we're going to go down to the crop top and crop bottom and uh, we're going to crop it down to about 20%. And this gives it kind of a, 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 a boxed effect, uh, kind of a more professional effect. So do that for both instances of the background video clip. So I did it for the first instance and now I'm going to go down and do it to the second instance. And also if you want you can change both of those to linear as well and kind of make it fade away. Um, so that's, that's another thing that you can do if you want to. So now the last thing that you'll need to do is just add the video clip that you're wanting to appear after this and then just do some sort of uh, video transition and you can either use the wax 2.0 video transitions or you can uh, just save what you have and use something like media player and use uh, I I'm sorry Windows Movie Maker and use its transitions so um, uh, here's what the uh, finished product will look like it's gonna look something like this how it kind of stretches out and uh, you see the background going then kind of fades into uh, the video that you're wanting to watch. Alright, well that's it for this tutorial. For more go to tinkernut.com.